After eight days on the Aksu Traverse hike, we continued our road trip in Kyrgyzstan. Welcome to the final episode. On our way to Isoko Lake, we took a little side trip to Skaska Canyon, translated as Fairy Tale Canyon, because locals were surprised to find these fantasy like shapes on their way to Isoko. Just like the locals, we didn't expect to find this type of landscape in Kyrgyzstan. Today we left Kyrgyzstan and we arrived in the States. Um, I have never been to Utah, but I think it must look like this. After this fun stop, we made our way to the yurt camp we had booked. To get there, you have to follow a dry riverbed all the way to the shores of the lake. You can pre-arrange activities at the camp, but after eight days of hiking, we enjoyed just doing nothing at all. This afternoon we have some beach time planned in a pretty cool spot. We're here on the beach all by ourselves at Isukul Lake. The camp has a truly spectacular location. On one hand, surrounded by an endless blue surface of the lake, and on the other hand, by endless canyons created by water and wind for thousands of years. Next morning, we drove out of the canyon again in the beautiful morning light. Direction south. You would almost forget, but Kyrgyzstan also has nicely paved roads. But where's the fun in that? Back to the bumpy roads. It was clear that we wouldn't reach our destination same day. With the sun setting, we started looking out for a wild camp spot. You would think it's easy to camp anywhere you want here, but the valley is very exposed and we prefer to camp a bit more hidden, or at least well off the road. When we thought we found a sidetrack leading to nowhere, it became soon clear that there are no roads leading to nowhere in Kyrgyzstan. Cheers! Way! <laughs> Communicating with hands and feet, we asked if it was okay to put up camp on their driveway. We were welcomed with vodka and later they invite us in where the lady of the house served us tea and snacks. From the sky it seems like the roads are straight and easy, but you have to be alert 100% of the time, checking the best way to drive and ditching potholes. Today we're walking to Kelsu Lake, often named as the most beautiful lake in Kyrgyzstan. The way to reach it is already spectacular, um, so we look forward to what we will see behind that saddle. 
There's something special about Kelso Lake. It has the unusual feature of sometimes disappearing completely and then filling up again. We were lucky to find it with its spectacular turquoise colored water. We just finished our hike to Kelso Lake and now we're on our way back. To get in, we took an, uh, the normal trek, which is graded as level 2. And to get out, we will try a more off road trek, which is graded as level 4. Quite scary when you cannot see what's behind the edge. Oh my god. <laughs> Some stretches the tracks completely washed away and you have to find ways around the unpassable parts. Camper. The next part was an open valley where it was sometimes hard to see what the main track was. We lost track and then we used the drone to find it again. That's what we call navigating in modern times. Finally, some tar roads! Not too long though. Off the highway again, direction Tashrabat. So we're gonna visit Tashrabat, the caravan Sarai of Tashrabat. And after that, we'll have uh, some relaxing in our yurt. If you think we got rid of the bumpy rides, think again. Another marvelous evening drive, keeping our eyes open for a beautiful camp spot. And found it. Good morning, bright and shine. Our camp spot was looking over a canyon and we are now descending into the canyon.
We are on our way back north, and the last major stop is Sonkul Lake, the second largest lake in the country after Isukul. It's a high alpine lake, and it was cold, so no beach time here. We rented a horse and poorly managed to have them follow our instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, shh. Shh. Goodbye, Sankul. We're off to Bishkek now. We are taking the last dusty roads before heading to the capital. We were clearly not the only ones heading to town. to squeeze in one last national park, Ala Archa National Park, close to Bishkek, the capital. Uh, we're a bit tight on time, so um, we start early at 7.30. We're all alone in the park. It's still cold, it will take a while before the sun will be on us, but that's good because it's going up. We have to do almost 1300 altitude meters to get to the hut and glacier or uh, final point for today. And our final point of this trip. Time to go home. Thank you, Kurgisan.